Meiosis and reproduction. Meiosis is a process of cell division that plays an essential role in sexual reproduction. During meiosis, diploid cells, containing two sets of chromosomes divide twice, resulting in the production of haploid cells, containing one set of chromosomes. These haploid cells can then combine with other haploid cells, from another individual through fertilization to form a zygote with a complete set of chromosomes. Meiosis promotes genetic diversity in offspring by shuffling genes from each parent and crossing over of homologous chromosomes during prophase I. As a result, the gametes produced by meiosis are genetically different from the parent cell and from each other, which increases the likelihood of beneficial traits and enhances the overall fitness of the species. Meiosis also plays a crucial role in preventing the accumulation of too much genetic material over time. If cells continue to divide by mitosis which results in two diploid daughter cells, the number of chromosomes would double with each generation. Meiosis ensures that diploid cells are reduced to haploid cells, maintaining the proper chromosome number in offspring. In summary, meiosis is a key process in sexual reproduction that generates genetic diversity in offspring and maintains proper chromosome number from generation to generation. First meiotic division. The first meiotic division also known as meiosis I, is a specialized type of cell division that occurs during meiosis, producing two haploid daughter cells from a diploid parent cell. It is divided into four stages, prophase I, metaphase I, anaphase I, and telophase I. During prophase I, homologous chromosomes pair up and swap genetic material through a process called crossing over, which increases genetic diversity. The chromosomes condense, the nuclear envelope breaks down, and the spindle apparatus forms. During metaphase I, the homologous chromosome pairs align along the metaphase plate, with the spindle fibers attached to each chromosome. This arrangement promotes genetic recombination and ensures that each daughter cell will receive a mix of maternal and paternal chromosomes. During anaphase I, the homologous chromosomes separate and move to opposite poles of the cell, pulled by the spindle fibers. During telophase I, the chromosomes arrive at opposite sides of the cell. The spindle is disassembled, and the cell membrane begins to pinch in, leading to the formation of two daughter cells that contain half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Overall, meiosis I plays a crucial role in sexual reproduction by producing haploid daughter cells with a unique combination of parental chromosomes, promoting genetic diversity and ensuring the proper chromosome number in offspring. Second meiotic division. The second meiotic division, also known as meiosis II is the second stage of meiosis, which occurs after meiosis I. The main goal of meiosis II is to separate sister chromatids which were made during meiosis I, into separate daughter cells, resulting in the production of four genetically unique haploid cells. In meiosis II, the four stages are similar to those of mitosis, prophase II, metaphase II, anaphase II, and telophase II. However, there are a few key differences between mitosis and meiosis II, including in prophase II, the spindle apparatus forms again, and the chromosomes condense. In metaphase II, the chromosomes align along the metaphase plate, and the spindle fibers attach to the kinetochores of the sister chromatids, rather than homologous chromosomes. In anaphase II, the sister chromatids separate and move toward opposite poles of the cell, pulled by the spindle fibers. In telophase II, the chromosomes arrive at opposite poles of the cell, the spindle is disassembled and the cell membrane pinches in, leading to the formation of four genetically unique haploid daughter cells. Overall, meiosis II is crucial in sexual reproduction, as it reduces the chromosome number from the diploid state to the haploid state, producing genetically diverse haploid daughter cells that are ready for fertilization. Significance of meiosis Meiosis is a specialized type of cell division that occurs in sexually reproducing organisms. Some of the key significance of meiosis are as follows. 1. Genetic variation. Meiosis promotes genetic diversity, as it involves processes like crossing over and random segregation of chromosomes, which shuffle genetic material to create unique combinations of alleles on homologous chromosomes. 2. Prevents chromosome doubling. The reduction of chromosome number is a critical aspect of meiosis, as it prevents the chromosome number from doubling in each generation. 3. Formation of gametes. Meiosis is essential in the formation of gametes, sperm or egg cells, that give rise to offspring during sexual reproduction. The haploid gametes from two parents are fused during fertilization to form a diploid zygote, 
which carries the complete set of genetic information to form a new individual. 4. Correct chromosome number. Meiosis delivers haploid gametes that contain half of the genetic material of the parent cell, ensuring that the correct chromosome number is maintained in each generation. 5. Disease prevention. Meiosis plays a role in preventing chromosomal abnormalities and syndromes by ensuring that homologous chromosomes separate correctly, and each daughter cell receives one copy of each chromosome. When this process is disturbed, conditions such as Down syndrome and Turner syndrome occur. Overall, the significance of meiosis includes the generation of genetic diversity, creation of haploid gametes, maintenance of the correct chromosome number, and prevention of chromosomal abnormalities all of which contribute to the evolution and survival of sexually reproducing species. Revision Exercise 1. What is meiosis? Meiosis is a specialized type of cell division that occurs in sexually reproducing organisms. It involves two rounds of cell division, resulting in the creation of four haploid cells, each containing a unique combination of genetic material. Its main function is to reduce the chromosome number by half ensuring that offspring receive the correct number of chromosomes from each parent during sexual reproduction. 2. Name the most distinctive features of each of the following stages of meiosis. A metaphase I. B metaphase II. C telophase I. D. Anaphase II. A metaphase I. During metaphase I, homologous pairs of chromosomes align at the metaphase plate, with microtubules from opposite poles of the cell attaching to each pair of homologous chromosomes. This results in the formation of the bivalent structure, which is the pairing of the two chromosomes. B. Metaphase 2. In metaphase 2, haploid cells align along the metaphase plate, with kinetochores of each chromosome attaching to microtubules from opposite poles of the cell. C. Telophase I. Telophase I marks the end of the first round of meiotic division and the beginning of the second round. During this stage, the chromosomes reach opposite poles of the cell, and the nuclear envelope reforms around them. This is followed by cytokinesis, which results in the separation of the cell into two haploid daughter cells. D. Anaphase 2. During anaphase 2, sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and are pulled to opposite poles of the cell by microtubules attached to the kinetochores. This results in the formation of four haploid daughter cells, each with one copy of each chromosome. 3. Name the process by which A. Haploid cells are formed from diploid cell. B. Diploid cell is formed from haploid cells. A. Haploid cells are formed from diploid cells by the process of meiosis. Meiosis is a type of cell division that starts with a diploid cell and results in the formation of four haploid cells. B. Diploid cells are formed from haploid cells by the process of fertilization. During fertilization, two haploid cells, one from each parent, combine to form a diploid zygote. The zygote contains a full set of genetic information with one copy of each chromosome from each parent's haploid gamete. 4. Why is meiosis important in sexual reproduction? Meiosis is important in sexual reproduction because it produces haploid cells that are essential for the formation of gametes, sperm and eggs, with a single copy of chromosomes. During sexual reproduction, the haploid gametes from two parents combine, resulting in the formation of a diploid zygote with a unique combination of genetic material. Meiosis produces genetic diversity through the processes of crossing over, independent assortment, and random fertilization. Crossing over and independent assortment result in the creation of new combinations of genetic material in the gametes, and random fertilization ensures that each offspring is unique. This genetic diversity provides the basis for adaptation to changing environmental conditions and drives evolution. Without meiosis, the chromosome number would double with each generation and sexual reproduction would not be possible. 5. What is the function of the following? A. Centromere. B. Spindle fibers. A. The centromere is a region on a chromosome where the two sister chromatids are tightly bound together. During cell division, the spindle fibers attach to the kinetochores located at the centromeres and pull the chromatids apart, separating them into two daughter cells. The centromere is also responsible for ensuring that each daughter cell receives a complete set of chromosomes with one copy of each. b. The spindle fibers are a network of microtubules that form during cell division and are responsible for separating the sister chromatids in mitosis and meiosis. They originate from the centrosomes and attach to the kinetochores on the chromosomes, pulling them apart to opposite poles of the cell. 
Spindle fibers are crucial for ensuring that each daughter cell receives a complete set of genetic material with one copy of each chromosome.